Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Fashioning Little Miss Lonesome, the demo. God, this game is so awesome. I really hope it sells like crazy because we totally need more R18 games for women. Because seriously, believe it or not, the average age of female gamers is 44. And then you kids like to think you got the market cornered on games, but nope, it's us old ladies. Well, anyway, let's get back into the hilarity of this game. Oh, and if you're enjoying this game, I also recommend Yamato Nadeshigo Shichi Henge, also known as Wallflower, because that is a hilarious story. It's an anime and it's a manga, so either one's great. They're both hilarious. But it's kind of similar to this, and there's four guys to deal with, instead of just two. Again, just like this, really super hilarious. Fast-paced and really out there. Alright, so sorry, enough of that. Let's get back into the game. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Hopefully we'll get to see another one of Miki's interesting creations soon. Although at the moment I think we're about in for diet and calisthenics. Okay, I put my uniform back on. These people saw me in my underwear again. It's too early in the morning for this. I gotta say that your room isn't absurdly girly. But why is it so goddamn dreary? How should I know? Uh, well, you're the one that lives here and decorated it, apparently. He's practically inspecting every corner. This is still a ladies' room, you know. Have some manners. Is he interested in my fish tank and bird cage? That have no fish or bird? Did you have pets before? Well, at one point, I was so lonely I decided I wanted a pet. But then I gave up before I actually got one. <laughs> so you bought the stuff, but you didn't buy the pet. Could you be any gloomier? No. I think this is a type of goth. Her aesthetic sense knows no bounds. You're just always so cheery. You're so sweet, Miki. Man, I wish my brain automatically went to the positive version like yours. Not that I would ever actually want to be like you. Listen, I think coming to my house is crossing the line. You don't want people from our school to see us together, right? Then what other choice do we freaking have? You say that, but what if my parents were here? If they knew two guys that come to visit their daughter, they'd flip out for sure. I already did my research. Your parents already leave the house early in the morning, yeah? But what if they get sick? Well, yes, but did you have one of your men stick at my house? What do you mean, one of my men? I got the info from Miki. <laughs> so Miki's been the one stalking me? What? Miki-san? You're my muse, after all. I can't go for too long without seeing you or start to feel restless. So every now and then I wake up early and watch your house. <laughs> Uh, you stalk me? No, no. If I was stalking, I'd be all secretive about it, obviously. This is different because I just stand right outside your house. Ugh. That's not something to be proud of. Basically, you just didn't realize I was there. Ugh. Do you never pay any mind to someone like me? It's so condescending. I can't get enough. So Miki's a masochist. Now we're getting down to things. No, I... I didn't mean to. It's too much of a hassle to correct him, though. Man, once you're inside your house, you don't come out at all, do you? You spent entire weekends just cooped up in here, right? What? Exactly how long were you standing out there? Maybe this guy's actually way more dangerous than Saito. So yeah, as you can see, this guy's a total letdown. If this clothes-making thing doesn't work out, he's as good as trash. He's something else, that's for sure. Don't look at me like that. It'll make me shiver. Oh god, that face. He's getting more masochistic by the moment. You wouldn't abandon him, right? Would you? I... I would maybe feel a tiny bit guilty. <laughs> I'm not really as unique as you are, Emma. Oh, I think you're plenty unique. What? I know we're near your level, Miki-san. No, no. I'm not worthy of such an honor. I'm going to have to insist that you take it. Be my guest. This is pissing me off. You're both boogers, all right. Nasty. Ew! Don't compare me to a booger. That's so mean. Well, we're wasting time here, guys. All right, enough small talk. Let's cut to the chase. All this stuff we talked about yesterday, we're starting today. You mean, gouging out my eyes and selling them? But they're slanted. I don't think anyone would want them. 
We're not doing that. For the record, everyone's eyeballs are the same shape, genius. Anyway, no. I'm talking about turning you into a model. Oh. So he was serious about that. When did you think he wasn't? So, first, I want to get an idea of your daily eating habits. You're going to feel sorry you asked that. I know you told me about lunch yesterday, but what do you do for breakfast and dinner? I don't remember little details like that. Come to think of it, did I even have breakfast today? What are you, a senile old hag? You're like the kind of girl that leaves the past in the past. That's so cool. No, it isn't. Even my grandpa isn't as bad as you. Oh, that's it. I know how to find out what I've eaten. I have a mini blog where I post all my meals. Seriously? You even post it and you still can't remember? What? Really? You should have said so sooner. Go on keeping the log of that kind of thing. Where is it? Show me. Again, you're gonna be sorry you asked. Um, hang on a sec. I'll pull up my browser. Click click. Whoa! A top of the line rig with a 5k display. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, one day I tried to ask my dad, what does neglect mean? And he said, I should buy you a new computer. And then he did. <laughs> what a great dad. Nice job dodging that bullet, Pops. Okay, here it is. What the? You're on this site too? So am I. Don't you have to get an invite before you can make an account here. You're telling me someone actually invited you. Well, this one person was saying how they really wanted to boost their friend count, so they sent me an invite. Oh, I see. There are some desperate people out there, I guess. Why would someone actively try to increase their friend count? I mean, you don't really need to do anything. When I first joined, I got about a hundred friend requests within a week. Wow, that's amazing. Go die on a pyre. <laughs> you said that out loud, and you said it wrong. Hey, Miki, come read her entry starting from a week ago. Sure thing. Let's see here. When a week ago, her breakfast was anpan, lunch was chocolate cream melon bun, and dinner was bacon pizza. Man, pizza is so good. I eat it all the time. We don't need to hear your opinions. Keep reading. Okay, okay. Six days ago, her breakfast was Danish anpan, lunch was chocolate cream melon bun, and dinner was shrimp mayo pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing a trend here. Anpan flavored things in the morning, chocolate cream melon buns for lunch, and weird pizzas for dinner. Pizza two days in a row. How can you stomach that? Easy. It tastes good, so I eat it. Moving on. Five days ago, her breakfast was steamed anpan. <laughs> lunch was a melon cream melon bun, and dinner was seafood pizza. Wait, what the... I've got a really bad feeling about this. Whatever, keep reading. Told you you'd be sorry. Four days ago, her breakfast was subu and anpan. Lunch was a chocolate cream melon bun, and dinner was Korean barbecue... style pizza. Three days ago, her breakfast was anpan in the shape of a superhero. <laughs> Lunch was a chocolate cream melon bun, and dinner was a gourmet ten cheese pea... Enough! I can't take it anymore. Even with all the slight variations, it's still just Anpan melon buns and pizza every day. Well, pizza's just easier. You can order it online without ever having to talk to another human being. Yeah, I have to agree with that. <laughs> That's one thing I love about it. Is your social anxiety that bad, huh? Mine is. You can't have bread for every meal every day. I'm gonna call you Princess Carbs from now on. Yay! I got a promotion from Piggy. Not yay. Princess Carb's final evolution is Mega Hog. I'm not gonna get that big. Wait. Think about it, Saito. She's staying the same size after eating nothing but pizza and melon buns all this time. Isn't that kind of incredible? Her metabolism must be off the charts. Oh, come to think of it, I've never really felt full. Even her stomach's unique. That's my muse for you. I told you. Quit turning everything into a compliment. Also, allow me to point out that this diary seemingly doesn't have any goddamn non-food-related entries in it. That's all she writes about is food? Well, yeah, but I don't have anything else to write about, so... Well, there is your evening Wikipedia escapades. 
Eating is the only fun you have. That's so pathetic. Eating isn't really that much fun either. Chewing takes so much effort. Oh my god, you're too lazy to chew. Forget it. This conversation is destroying my will to live. I gotta say, pizza delivery is pretty expensive. Can you really afford it every night? Well, sure. My parents always leave me 2,000 yen for food money. Isn't that like $20? 2,000 yen every day? You dumbass. Think of all the money you'd have if you saved it up. Just because it's food money doesn't mean you have to use all of it. What? Uh, why are you screaming at me all of a sudden? Saito's biggest pet peeve is seeing people waste money. Ah, uh, I've heard that's common among people in your line of work. And what line of work would that be? Anyway, stop with the pizza. Stop with everything. And for the love of God, start saving. I... I mean, I do save whatever's left over. See that box full of coins over there? Oh, I've heard of these. You're supposed to write the reason you're saving up in front, right? Let's see, what'd you put? Who gave you permission to look? Hmm, saving up for a mini fridge. That way I can buy all the yogurt drinks I want without going downstairs. <laughs> you really want to hold yourself up in here, don't you? Uh... Isn't he worried about popping a blood vessel from all that rage? Good lord, your diet's more messed up than I thought. We'll have to redo it from scratch. What do you mean from scratch? I don't want to have to cook. It's scary. Knives and all that. I'm not going to make you cook right off the bat. I already have a plan. Here. Come again? All of a sudden he thrusts something at me. It's wrapped in some kind of cloth. It looks heavy. What? Is this? Isn't it obvious? What else would be wrapped up in cloth like this? A gun? <laughs> Why the hell would I give you a gun? It's a bento. Your goddamn lunch for the day. W what? I never would have imagined that Saito-san would bring me food. Wait, this is homemade? This is totally backwards. I'm supposed to make lunch for him. But that's so adorable. Saito here lives with his mom, you see. And he's in charge of making lunches. Wow, I never thought he would be so domestic. So it is homemade. I guess so. The ones in the store don't come wrapped up like this. So you made lunch for your mom every day? That's... What? You think it's weird? No, I think it's adorable. But of course, I'm also under the impression that you're Yakuza, so it is kind of weird for a Yakuza to make bentos for his mom, I guess. No, it's just... You know, that won't help you redeem yourself in the eyes of the Lord, so why go to the trouble? I'm not doing it to redeem myself. What do I even have to make up for? What a naive man. Karma always comes back to bite you, you know. Anyway, from now on, this is your lunch. It's got way less calories than a chocolate cream melon bun, and pretty decent nutritional value, too. Should fix your diet problem. But what about our breakfast and dinners? Wait, so... Do you guys come all the way here just to give me this bento box? We thought about putting it on your desk and sending you an email, but we didn't want to risk anyone seeing us. I see. Still, I can't believe they would go this far. Thank you very much. Now I can keep eating pizza every night- Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah! You little crap. How could you even say that, you damn sow? Ow, that hurts! Please, stop pulling my hair! Saito, that's no excuse to treat a lady that way. Shut up. I've been trying not to get too physical. But this is the last straw. Goddamn Sal, save your money. That's what you're mad about? Amongst other things, you're really testing his patience. Actually, well, you know, he, Miki tests his patience a lot too. That's why he gets punched. School time. It's lunchtime. As usual, I'm out behind the school building. Let's see what this lunch is that Saito made for me. It's going to be horribly bland, isn't it? But today, instead of my usual chocolate cream melon bun, I'm eating a bento that Saito-san made for me. When I opened the lid, I found sweet and sour pork and white rice waiting for me. Wow! That's surprising. I wouldn't think that would be all that healthy. I thought it would mostly just be vegetables and maybe boiled chicken or something. I can't believe a guy like that will wake up early just to make this. But I'm grateful even if I don't say it out loud. Huh. 
It's not as much as I'd like, but the meat's been cut into big pieces, so I have to chew it. Ah, oh, I get it. This way I feel more full. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I've had some rice. It's really tasty with the sweet and sour pork. Still, I find it hard to believe that Saito-san does any kind of domestic duties. Since my parents are hardly ever home, I tend to do a bit of cleaning after school, but Saito-san seems like the more thorough type. I know I definitely couldn't cook. It's too scary. Oh, I know. When I get home, I'll write lunch, homemade bento, and my blog entry for the day. You know, when they were talking about remodeling, I thought they meant something terrifying. But if this is what they meant, well, I guess it's not so bad. Oh, just wait till you get to the workout portion. That's when you're really gonna freak out. Oh, we didn't work out after school. I thought we would. It got late so quickly. I was just idly scrolling through my newsfeed, and now it's dark outside. It's almost dinner time. What should I do? I could order pizza like usual, but psycho would probably get mad at me. I guess I should go to the grocery store and buy something healthy, like a salad. But I'm already home. It's too much effort to leave the house. Oops. My hand slipped and I accidentally clicked on the website for the pizza place. <laughs> it's fate. Oh, wait. I could go with this low-calorie one, right? Yeah. I'll just give this healthy veggie pizza a try. I'm sure that's so much better. That takes care of that. Alright, now to change into something more comfortable. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it's here. I don't think that's your pizza. I can see the usual pizza guy on the monitor. Oh, it is him. For a delivery man, he's not very friendly, but I actually prefer it that way. Kinda run down and grab it. I open the door. Hi there. I'm here to steal your pizza. Can't sound surprised. Good evening, Emma. Yeah! My pizza! Huh? What are they doing here? I, I only saw the delivery guy on the monitor. I completely let my guard down. Gah! My pizza is vanishing right before my eyes. Oh, they're eating it in front of you? That's so mean. Mm. Knowing you, we suspected something like this would happen. Now, now, Saito. You can't expect a muse such as this to change her whole lifestyle in the order of someone else. After all, she walks her own path. Mmm. Pretty sure she lacks self-discipline. Mm. Man, you should have ordered something with more meat. What were you thinking? Can't you tell? It's a veggie pizza. Well, it's too late now. Um, don't I get any? Are they going to have me skip dinner every night? I know this is supposed to be a diet, but I feel like that's a little too unreasonable. Oh, I've got your dinner right here. Eat up. What? My dinner is in that little Tupperware container? Well, the sweet and sour pork was pretty good. I'm sure something equally tasty awaits me in here. Thank you. I popped the lid. What is this? Inside, I found a plain chicken breast with broccoli. This is nothing like I had for lunch. Yeah, that's what I was expecting at lunch. <laughs> something really bland and horrible like that. That'll be your dinner from now on. It's low in calories, but high in protein. Perfect for dieting. <sighs> Just eat it already. Unless you'd rather not. Personally, I think I'd rather starve. <laughs> Until I actually am at the point of starving, then I would eat it. But I have a really hard time making myself eat things that I don't like. No, no problem here. Thanks for the food. I guess it's better than skipping dinner entirely. Even though it feels like I'm eating wartime rations. Munch, munch, munch. It's not that I hate chicken, but it's so dry. I can barely taste anything. I wish this had more flavor to it. But he'd probably kill me if I said that out loud. Maybe it'll feel more filling if I chew it really slowly. I really wish there was more, though. Thanks for dinner. Flavor was kind of lacking, though. It's just not a real pizza without meat. I was trying! <sighs> Is this what it means to be trolled? 
Alrighty. Now that we've eaten, let's roll. No, you're going to make me work out at night and after eating? You're not supposed to work out after eating. Thanks for the meal. Wait, what? Where are we going? To the park. The park? At night? I think the stag beetles are all gone by now. We're not going bug hunting. Think. What else do you need besides a good diet? A peaceful living environment? Okay, yes. But I mean, in addition to the diet. Wait. No. You don't mean... And as it happens, you've already got a tracksuit on. Perfect. Let's get going. This should be a morning thing. Ugh. Oh god, I knew it. It's the thing I hate worst of all. It looks scary. Gah. Ugh. Gah. Ugh. The second we got to the park, he made me start jogging. Ugh. I can't believe this. That background's really pretty, though. It's kind of creepy, but really pretty. Why are you already gasping for breath? You barely run like 500 meters. Why don't you work out with me? That could help motivate me some, maybe. I can't help it. I, I just uh, suck at running. I imagine you suck at pretty much everything. Hey, that's harsh. Fair, but harsh. Okay, Emma. We Asian people are genetically predisposed to running long distances. Take me, for example. In a marathon, I can hold my own against black and white people. Yeah, but are you really Japanese? Or are you mixed? Or do you just dye your hair? But by what logic does that make any of this okay? I, I mean, if anyone from school sees me out here running with you guys... That would be why we waited until night to go to a park the next town over. Ugh. This is all so unnecessary, though. I can lose weight without doing this. I won't eat pizza anymore. I'll just skip dinner from now on. No, that's not healthy, damn it. Besides, it's no fun if we make it too easy on you. <laughs> so he's doing this partially for his uh, sadistic pleasure. No, no fun. Huh. Wh what's that supposed to mean? Did you forget? <laughs> what do you think it means? Oh, well, the face. You're even scarier when you're miserable, aren't you? Mmm. Saito looks so gleeful. I should have expected it. He's a sadist, all right. Gah. I'm gonna die. I'm dying. I can't. Saito, I think she's at her limit. If we push her too hard right off the bat, she won't be able to keep this up. Okay. That big tree over there is the finish line. The big tree. Emma, just run over here to me and you're done. You're the big tree? Gah! Huh! I do see a big tree behind Miki-san. Come on! Leap into my arms! <laughs> oh god, that face. Man, this is some super low-riding pants. If I can make it that far, I'll be free of this torment. Well, for tonight at least. It's so close. If I can just run at full speed, I'll... Ah! That's right. I'm right here, Emma. Wait, am I actually seeing a big tree as I'm looking at him? Ah! Slam. Oh my god. Ugh. Gah. Ah. Ah. It's over. Wait, what? Miki-san, why do you look like you're in pain? You slammed your head into my stomach. Ugh. Ugh. It, it's weird, though. I should be in agony, so why do I feel kind of turned on? <laughs> oh my god. He's, he's a blossoming masochist. He's just learning this about himself. Is he not listening to me? Can he even hear me? He's writing and babbling about something weird. Um... Is there something wrong with Miki-san? He looks happy, leave him be. Still, if you hit him in the stomach at your height, that must be one hell of a hunch you got going on. Hunch? Guess we'll need to fix that little problem too. <sighs> what are they going to have me do next? A few days later, we're going to have to take lady lessons and walk straight with a book on our heads. Ah. <sighs> 
Finally a day off. Really a day off? From the guys? This week has been hell. Thank heaven for Sunday. Oh, do you seriously think they're going to let you go for a Sunday? They bought me bento boxes every day, and Saito-san always manages to find something to lecture me about, and every night is jogging night. <sighs> Looking back on this week, how could they subject me to all that? And without pay, which you still have not demanded. But now it's Sunday. Surely that means a day off. Oh, you just assumed. I mean, they're normies. And normies are always super busy on weekends, aren't they? With what, I don't know. Probably picnics in the forest or barbecues. Orienteering, maybe? Surely they won't have time to deal with someone like me. Today, I'm going to relax and keep browsing the rest of that website about unsolved mysteries. There's so much more to read. See, why don't you write some of that on your blog? Whoa! The culprit behind the unsolved mystery has slanted eyes. My heart just skipped a beat. My eyes are slanted too! What a coincidence! Maybe it was me! But this all happened before I was even born, so I doubt they'd suspect me. Yeah, I'm probably fine. Probably. But what if it was your mother or your father? Being targeted by scary people is the worst. That much I can say from personal experience. But in my case, it's because... Yep. Them. Huh? I can see a certain droopy-eyed man on the monitor. Which would be... It's been so long since your last visit. Oh, how I long for this day to come, to see you again. <laughs> Wait, why do you look so exhausted? And is it just me, or are your clothes kind of messed up? He made me come. What? Made you what? Oh my god, that creep! Uh, is he thinking of that in the other way? <laughs> I think you're getting the wrong idea, buddy. Yeah, the wrong version of come. Honestly, maybe I am, but that sounded pretty sexual. What the hell does Slater do to you, Emma? It wasn't sexual. Quit reading into it. She was being her usual unwilling self, so I dragged her here, that's all. Are you really surprised? Of course I wasn't willing. It's Sunday. Let me have a day to relax every now and then. You do nothing but relax all year round. Why shouldn't I? I don't have a life, unlike you guys. Aren't you normies? Shouldn't you be busy with forest picnics and stuff? I don't really know what a normie is. Some kind of woodland fairy or something? <laughs> Just ignore him. Anyway, not everyone spends their Sundays the same way, you know. And why would you expect either of these guys to be normies? They clearly aren't. If you aren't going to hang out with anyone, then what are your plans? Collecting your debts? <laughs> what are you talking about? Miki's making clothes as usual. And as it happens, I have work today. Work? Is that part of the money laundering process? With my wages, there's nothing to launder. I've had to buy a lot of stuff lately, so I snagged a weekend shift, okay? Oh, I see. That sucks. I wonder what he does. Tell us, please. Don't talk like this doesn't concern you. Who do you think I'm doing this for? Come again? <sighs> Never mind. I've got to go. You two spend the day watching this DVD and practicing. What is this? How to Walk 101? Uh huh, yep. He's talking about that posture. But why does Miki have to watch it? The lady on the cover looks a little too happy. Seems kind of fishy. Saito, life isn't about walking a set path. You make a path for yourself. So why exactly do I need to learn how to walk? Walking is a fundamental part of being a model. And this DVD has a section to correct bad posture. So for starters, we're going to fix that, okay? But, but... If I stand up straight, I'll be even taller, and it'll only make me, and it'll only make me stand out more. That's what you want in a fashion show. So stand out. Actually, you have to stand out. Aww. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have time for this. Thanks to you, I'm about to be late. That's not my problem. All right, Miki. It's your responsibility to make sure she fixes that slouch. If I get back and she doesn't show any signs of improvement. I'm going to slap the crap out of you, got it? And out the door he went. Yikes. 
What a tyrant. Hmm. I don't want to get slapped. Sorry, but I'm gonna need you to do as he says, okay? I don't believe you. I think you like getting slapped. Yeah. I guess we don't have a choice. This is Miki-san we're talking about. Surely he won't be as ridiculous as Saito-san. I wouldn't count on it. Oh, maybe he only likes being abused by me. Maybe he doesn't like Saito's abuse, just mine. Slouching is bad. It ruins your metabolism, ruins your mood, and speeds up the aging process. In other words, when you slouch, you're as good as dead. When you use correct posture, your charm will increase by 30%. You absolutely must fix it. No more slouching. The spokes lady. I thought she looked weird on the cover, but she's even weirder on the actual DVD. How can a genuine smile look so fake? I can't take her seriously at all. I'm having trouble believing anything she says. Posture is important, though. Even the most famous designer clothes wouldn't look as good if the model didn't stand up straight. Right. Miki-san took her side. Maybe it's something only other weirdos would understand. The best way to correct your posture is through step aerobics. Now, join me and let's practice stepping. All right. Let's follow along with the DVD. Great. It turned into exercise. Can't we just put a book on our head and walk back and forth? I'm sure your effort will pay off in the end. And I bet the world would look a lot different if you stood up straight. I'm only doing this because I have to. It has to be easier than jogging. Not to mention the fact that we don't have to go outside for this. I'll just half-ass it so I won't get tired. Oh... Do you have anything I can use as a step? Oh, yeah. Good question. Hmm. I'll go take a look real quick. He began to dig around. Here's the box. Oh, it's cardboard. Maybe... No, that won't work either. Oh, this might, though. After hunting through some boxes, it sounded like he finally found something. I'm going to hold off on commenting on all the girly doll clothes he had pulled out in order to find it. All I got is this wooden crate. Could you try it out? I guess. I was trying to use the lack of a step as an excuse to get out of doing the exercise. Get a clue. Oh well. I'll do it for a bit until he comes around. According to the DVD, one rep should take three minutes. Okay. That doesn't sound so bad. Alright. Ready? Start. It's gonna be horrible, isn't it? Ugh. Ugh. This is hard. That's way too tall for step aerobics. I thought step aerobics would be easy, but doing this for three minutes straight is actually pretty rough. Maybe even worse than jogging. Alright, that's three minutes. Break time. Ugh. 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 I'm I'm so I'm so tired. After your break, you got five reps left. I... I can't... do this... anymore. Hang in there, Emma. Just think of how much more beautiful you'll be afterwards. Ugh. I thought he might go easy on me, but as it turns out, he's pretty merciless too. I guess he doesn't compromise when it comes to aesthetics. Okay, break's up. Back to stepping. Ugh. Fine. I guess I'll have to keep going for a while. Well, I think the biggest problem is that that crate is gigantic. You need like a three-inch step or something, not a foot. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. That's it, Emma. Watch your posture. Hang in there. Oh no! Crunch. Crack. Yeah! Emma, are you okay? I killed Mr. Crate. I wasn't expecting that. Then again, I should have known it wouldn't be able to support my weight. Uh, I would have thought it would. Are you hurt? Are you injured? N no, not at all. I'm fine, but the crate is not so fine. God, I really did a number on the little guy. He's all busted to pieces. I don't feel too bad about it. Yeah, uh... I don't think I can fix this. 
Was it a very important crate? With the crate broken like this, I guess we'll have to put the step aerobics on hold. No. We have to see it through to the end. Otherwise, it'll all be pointless. I don't think this is something worth getting that worked up over. Are we going to use Miki as our step? When it comes to beauty, Miki-san seriously doesn't compromise at all. Or maybe he's just too dense to figure out that I want to stop. But we don't have anything else that I can use as a step, do we? Oh, well, that's true. So we have to quit the step aerobics. Let's pick it back up some other day. With this unexpected break, my incredibly low level of motivation has gone into negative numbers. Enough with the exercise. I just want to lie down. It's come to this. Our only remaining option. Huh? What? Well, why are you getting on all fours? Step on me, Emma. <laughs> you did think of it. You don't need to get on all fours. You need to lie all the way on the ground. Step aerobics aren't supposed to start that high. What? Is he out of his mind? Does he realize what he's asking? Or is that why he's asking? It's okay. I'm a man after all. No matter how hard you step on me, I can handle it. Uh... Even on all fours, his expression is so serious and passionate. It doesn't look like he's joking at all. Go ahead now. Use me for your step aerobics. At this point, I think I have to step on him. He's completely dedicated to the cause. But maybe I'll change his mind after I step on him a bit. Uh, I'll just give it a try. You don't need to hold back. In fact, put all your weight into it. Uh, okay. He's gonna love this. He might get angry if I try to half-ass it. Fine then. I'll do it the exact same way I was earlier. Oh boy. <laughs> He's blushing. <clears throat> up, down, up, down. <clears throat> this is kind of difficult. Mickey's back isn't as firm as the crate, and his groans of pain are worrisome. I can't help but hold back a little. I don't think those are groans of pain. I think he's blushing too much for that. Plus, he's taller than the crate was. <sighs> Miki-san, I really think we... It's okay. Let me have it. You can't fix your posture if you don't put all your weight into it, right? W well, that is what the lady on the DVD said. What do I do? Should I really do as he says? Oh no! <laughs> Stepping on her feels so good. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because, okay, because I like Saito better, I'm going to continue to hold back. I mean, I know we can't get that far in the demo anyway, but maybe I can get some events that are a little bit more exclu exclusive towards Saito if I do things like that. I think I'll enjoy it too much if I uh, step on him harder. For now, I'll try to step as lightly as I can. Gently. Gently. Up, down, carefully. Gently. No, no. You're not putting enough weight into it. Huh? You're still holding back from me. That's not acceptable. I knew it. He can tell. Lean into it. Think of it like this. You're not stepping on me. Just a step. No, just a thing. I... I can't. I'm clearly stepping on you. Ugh, you're so kind. He seems kind of touched, but... Well... Steps don't ask you to step on them, Miki-san. Come on, give it to me harder. Harder, Emma. <laughs> okay, this is starting to sound not right again. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, okay. I have to just do it. It's just a step. <laughs> Look at him! He is happy! <laughs> this is actually... Not half bad. Ugh. Yeah. You're blushing and panting, and you got flowers around your head. Ugh. This is so awkward. Uh. <laughs> Why does it seem like the more I step on him, the happier he gets? There's something wrong with this picture. Don't mind me. Just keep going. 
easier said than done. It's impossible to ignore. And if I don't step on him, he'll get even more annoying. I guess I just have to do it. Ugh, that's it. You're doing it, Emma. Keep it up. Hang in there. Gah! Ugh. For now, I have to step on him just hard enough so he doesn't realize I'm holding back. And that means I have to carefully control the weight I put on him. It's both extremely difficult and extremely tiring. <sighs> good. You're doing so good. Ah, <sighs> use me as your stepping stone and fly. My muse. Then the door opened. <laughs> okay, why is Saito naked? Saito, why? Why are you naked? Why were you naked when you took out the camera before, too? Uh... Ugh, so good. Oh, God. What? Emma, I need more. More! What the hell are you guys doing? Eek! W weren't you supposed to be at work? Oh, hey, Saito. Welcome back. I sacrificed my precious lunch break to come check on you. What kind of fetish crap is this? Well... Well, you see... You didn't notice that your friend is a masochist yet? I told you to fix your goddamn slouch. Did the DVD tell you to step on some guy? <laughs> In a roundabout way. N no er, well, it said to do step aerobics, but, um... We didn't have anything to use as a step. Oh ho, very interesting. So who told you to use Mickey as your step, exactly? Uh, well... What's wrong, Saito? You want to turn? Well, sorry to say, this is my job, and I'm not giving it up. Why? Because helping her makes me... happy. <laughs> oh my god! That's Akuma face. I knew this was your idea. You love pain so much. Why don't I just help you out? Oh, so he does know he's a masochist. So why does he even bother to punch him to punish him if he likes it? N no thanks. You're not my type anyway. So so he only likes pain from people he's attracted to. And so Saito slapped the crap out of Miki-san. And got his clothes back on apparently. Why the hell was he naked and chibi for him when he came in? They even showed his belly button. What is the deal with the naked chibis? Ugh. That hurt. Now that we've given step aerobics a solid effort, why don't you try walking around and see if anything's different? One session isn't going to do a thing. Do you really think the change will be that noticeable? Well, if it's just walking, I don't mind. So, I guess I should just walk forward a bit? Oh, you're clearly standing up straighter than before. I really don't think it would work that way. Huh? It doesn't feel any different to me. Can you really see a difference? Of course. Don't you know how much I look at you? I'm confident that I could spot the tiniest change. For example, you've lost 400 grams since last week, haven't you? You're right. See? I can tell when you've changed. I was told to start weighing myself every day, so these days I've got a solid idea how much I weigh. But he can guess my weight at a glance? Kind of creepy, Miki-san. It is, and weird. If he said that kind of thing to any other woman... It'd be the last time you ever spoke to one. Ori, I think that's enough for today. Nice work, Emma. <sighs> We're done. That was so exhausting, both physically and mentally. Well, it was really only mentally exhausting near the end. Really, I kind of thought stepping on Miki lasted most of that session. I never knew step aerobics were so intense. Oh yeah, sorry, I know you're tired, but... While you were gone, I came up with a ton of new designs. Could you please take a look at them? Well, seeing as though I'm going to be the one wearing them, I don't mind looking at them. Thanks. Here, take a look at this tablet. Let's see what kind of horrors he has in store for us. Okay, well, I mean, I'm sure they're beautiful, but she's going to freak out about how naked she's going to be. I gave it a quick once-over. Ugh. Every design in here is just so skimpy. What do you think? Can you tell just how highly I respect you? <sighs> Miki-san wants me to wear these? Why do I inspire design ideas like this anyway? It's no use. I 
I can't understand this guy at all. Uh, Emma? What is it? Are you mad at me? I'm not mad. I just have resting bitch face. Uh, are you sure? I see your face every day, and you don't usually make that kind of complicated expression. Seriously, how much time does this guy spend looking at me exactly? That can't be much fun. Well, I was just thinking about how I'll never understand your genius, that's all. You don't understand. Oh, but there are more designs in this folder. I think you'll like them. <sighs> are these his more tame outfits then? Well, let's take a look. I flipped through. What? What the? This is literally just fishnet. Oh, did one of them catch your eye? The bikini area is covered, thankfully, but is this really any different from being naked? Why is he so eager to show me these things? Does he think I'm the kind of lady who would do anything he asks me to? Ah, oh, that one. You know, even while I was drawing it, I was already sure it was going to be my masterpiece. In fact, I went ahead and made it right after I finished the design spec. I'd absolutely love for you to wear it. <sighs> Why is he getting all sparkly-eyed about this? He's so clueless. I'll have to be blunt. I can't wear something like this. I knew it. I knew you'd let... What? What? Th did you just say... You can't? Yeah. Why do you look so shocked? Of course I couldn't wear this. I'd be basically naked. N no, wait. I'm sure it'll be just like last time. Even if you aren't crazy about the clothes right now, I bet you'd understand the appeal once you tried it on. Trust me. But it's a negligee. It's something I should be wearing in the bedroom. So you say, but I don't get it at all. How do you feel making me wear this? How am I supposed to feel wearing it? W wait. Like I said, if you try it on... If you think this outfit is so wonderful, then why don't you wear it your damn self, Miki-san? What? Same goes for Saito-san. If you want it that badly, then you should both put yourselves in my shoes for once. See what it's like to wear something humiliating. Ah, so that's where that scene comes in that we saw in the credits. That we saw in the opening scene. And I can't wait to see that. I gotta try and fit into this video. Miki-san and Saito-san force these demands on me because they don't have to know what it feels like. Once they realize how mortifying it is, I'm sure they'll never try to make someone walk around nearly naked ever again. Alright then, if that's what it'll take to convince you. What? I'm going to wear this, and so is Saito. <laughs> You're just agreeing for Saito yourself? What? I thought he'd say no. Why is he getting all fired up? This guy, I swear. Uh, wouldn't you have to make some serious alterations for it? You and I are going to wear your clothes. That's right, Saito. Do you understand what you're saying to me right now? I just got off work and I'm tired. Are you serious? Just this once, I agree with Saito-san. Miki-san is out of his mind for wanting to wear that. Well, I guess it's not that he wants to, but he probably doesn't want to take back his word. I'll probably use Saito-san as an excuse to get out of it. What? Are you worried about the fit? Don't be. I made it with her height proportions in mind, after all. <laughs> and since Miki's shorter? Never mind. He definitely doesn't want to. It should definitely fit you, but I'm not sure about me. I don't care if it fits. I want to know what the heck led up to this. It was my wonderful muse's idea, of course. You bitch. Eek! Saito-san's expression is terrifying. He's glaring so much, he looks like a demon. It's not like I expected Miki-san to seriously agree to it. No, she's right. If we're going to expect her to take this seriously, then we ought to show her that we take this seriously too. <laughs> I have no intention of making something I wouldn't wear myself. And if wearing it ourselves would help convey its appeal, then we need to do it. Tch. It sounds stupid, but it makes sense. What the... Saito seems kind of... conflicted? Don't tell me Miki-san's actually convincing him. Still, there's no way they'd actually enjoy wearing something skimpy like that. Even I'm against it and I'm a lady. Fine, I'll do it. What? Are you really doing this? What do you mean am I really doing this? Excuse me? 
This is your idea. Well, I... Um, it sort of slipped out in the heat of the moment. Oh, God. Saito-san's expression is frightening again. I always want to take a picture and turn it into a no-parking sign. I bet all the towing companies would go out of business. For that matter, why is he trying to make this my fault? I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, I never thought he'd say yes. Okay, I'll wear this one. The fishnet is fairly stretchy, so I should be able to make it fit somehow. Are you sure? <laughs> oh my god. Don't you have a huge dick from all the time you spent in America? Yeah, because when you go to America, your dick automatically grows three inches longer. Oh no. Y yeah, this is going to be a little inappropriate. But I don't care. I won't give in the shame. But wait, so he's is he actually acknowledging that his that he's bigger because he spent time in America? <laughs> you really don't need to get so passionate about this, you know. If you ask me, you've already given in to shame, dude. Shame. So you are against it. God damn it. Dead tired after a long day, and now I have to deal with this crap. I want to go home. <laughs> How did it come to this? How about it, Emma? Do you see how serious we are about this? Let me see. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh god, you two look so beautiful. Wait, I totally don't see how the one that uh, Miki is wearing is something that I could have worn. Because seriously, were those straps supposed to cover my nipples? Or were there parts to it that he couldn't wear? Um, Miki-san... You're blushing so hard, your ears are all red. He probably likes this humiliation. It, it's fine. I won't be discouraged just because you see me naked. So he admits he's basically naked. He claimed I would understand the appeal once I wore it. But he just used the word naked, so... And why are you wearing women's underwear, too? Is that something you're into, Saito-san? <laughs> no, it was this dumbass. He said if we're going to have you see the appeal... We need to go all out and girl it up. I... see. I don't think they needed to go quite that far. I mean, who would actually go along with that? Talk about a pushover. Side note, what the hell? Why can I feel the breeze on my crotch? <laughs> I don't know, I can't see the front. Saito, if you think it's bad for you, imagine what it's like for me. Did you just humble brag about your dick? Size isn't everything you know. Humble brag? Like kind of an indirect brag about it. Is everything okay? It's well within the average range, thanks. What? No, I... <laughs> I wasn't implying anything about that. I'm actually surprised by how much this covers. Do you feel better now, Emma? What do you mean, feel better? And what do you mean, how much it covers? Every time you guys move, I feel like your junk might slip out of your underwear. Oh god, I think I just saw something. Ugh, I shouldn't look. But their bulges just don't leave much to the imagination. Ugh, gah. I don't want to hear your gah. This is proof of our intentions. You better examine every less goddamn inch. Oh, I will, with pleasure. It's alright, Saito. She's getting the message loud and clear. Isn't that right, Emma? Eek! S stay away from me! I can see something jiggling! <laughs> oh my! That's a super ox faux pas! Sorry! You're starting to sound like a girl now too. Damn it. I hope my mom never sees me like this. Oh darn it, where's my phone? That wasn't what I was expecting him to say. I keep forgetting that Saito-san has a mom. Why, would your mom cry? No. If she saw me like this, she'd laugh hysterically and send pictures to my whole family. Oh, your mom is horrible. <laughs> I see. She must be just as much of a sadist as her son is. And then again, she must be part of his organization too, so... Ugh, I think I might cry. This is hell. Oh, come on, you can't tell me you don't enjoy it at all. Mm. How could you let such a tragedy take place, oh lord? Leave God out of it. This is your fault. Eek! His glare is even more frightening paired with that outfit. If we put this on a no parking sign, the cars would drive themselves home. After everything you put us through, you know what happens next, right? W what would that be? You're going to have to take this just as seriously as Miki is. 
Don't worry, Saito. We've done our part. I'm sure she meets us half- I'm sure she'll meet us halfway on this. You've got to acknowledge his passion after this, Emma. She better. If I catch her half-assing this in any way, who can say what I might do? Uh, wh what will he do to me? Give me cement shoes and pitch me in the ocean? I'm really looking forward to seeing you give it 100%. Miki-san's smile is actually kind of scary. Did I just set myself up for this? Rip. Uh-oh, more rips? What was that? It kind of sounded like something burst open. Oh, I hope it was not around your crotchal region. I'm guessing the outfit Miki is wearing is already a bunch of ripped out just from his size. Meek! God damn it, dude. It ripped, didn't it? Don't be silly. Fishnet doesn't rip so easy. Oh. The underwear finally gave out, huh? Oh, God. No! W wait, my sweet muse. You haven't given me an answer. Will you prove to me that you're committed to this? Hey, don't go after her in that getup. You look like a raging pervert. Yeah! That day, I realized. Once I made them wear that outfit, I had done something I could never take back. <laughs>